What's going on, everyone? You know what time it is. It's my fan time. And, uh, yeah, got the, uh, got the Bulls slash Jordan closet open. I have a jersey review for you guys out there. Um, this is actually kind of an interesting jersey. Mitchell and Ness dropped this uh, a couple weeks ago, but it had to get pulled from the uh, NBA.com shop because apparently they didn't have uh, complete rights to uh, to make this jersey. <laughs> but they went ahead and made it, and uh, maybe, I mean, maybe you want to just call this one the Oops jersey. I don't know, but um, it's the uh, jersey that represents MJ's last All-Star appearance. That uh, is the 2003 All-Star game. And I believe that game was in Atlanta. And, uh, you know, the NBA.com uh, shop had to pull the jersey because I believe the Wizards complained about it because uh, Mitchell Ness did not have complete rights, I think it was, to use their, their logo on the jersey, which, of course, MJ was a member of the uh, Washington Wizards at the time. But, you know what? I was able to pick this one up anyhow off of, uh, off of eBay. And, you know what? If it's, if it's Jordan... Not going to keep it for me for very long. So <laughs> if it's Jordan in a jersey I want to get, and eventually, you know, it's going to come my way. So, yeah, this is uh, this this jersey was only available, I believe, on NBA.com shop for about a week, maybe, uh, if that. Maybe a little longer, you know, here, give or take. But like I said, it was pulled because Mitchell Ness, um, you know, <laughs> didn't exactly have all the rights to... Uh, maybe as they thought they did, but you know what? It's still a real solid jersey, and who knows? Maybe someday they'll reissue it once they get all the rights straightened out. But anyhow, you know, I picked it up, so here it is. We're going to get into it. Okay, so as you see, we have the NBA logo, the Jerry West logo right there that's stitched on to the, to the, to the front there. Nice trim going across red, white, and blue uh, for the shoulder and neck areas, and also, of course, for the um, for the armholes. Very nice, right there. Uh, NBA is is double stitched in red and blue. The larger NBA logo on the front is uh, actually single stitched. There is no separate. Um, you know, double stitching or anything like that going on, just a single stitched. Uh, the 23 is single stitched in blue. And then of course we have the All-Stars, uh, All-Star rather at the bottom, double stitched in that red and blue. The stars on the side are supplemented or uh, pressed rather right onto the material. So there you got them going down. This is actually a jersey that uh, style that they made, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, if I if I hadn't forgotten the history here, uh, that they made in kind of homage because they knew Michael Jordan, it was his last All-Star appearance, his last All-Star game, and his first All-Star game, for those of you who might have this jersey, uh, they, uh, the NBA had this jersey for the Eastern Conference, pretty much almost identical. And so in a little bit of a homage there, they kind of recreated it for the East and West that year. And of course, Mitchell and Ness made the uh, number eight Kobe Lakers uh, red, the away red All-Star 03 jersey um, uh, as well to go with the, uh, the set here. So they got the stars again on the side. There is the jock tag, February 9th, 2003, Michael Jordan in a size 52 or 2X. I'm glad to also find my size too. Here's the inside. Of course, it still has the tags. So, 100% legit. It just wasn't out very long. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right, let me. Uh, sorry about this little. My uh, rack is pretty full there, so I'm just trying to fit this on for the video. And we got the back, and this is pretty much what they kind of got, you know, 
in uh, in trouble for was using the the uh, at the time that wizard's logo, which of course is now red, white, and blue uh, for the current you know um, logo for the wizards. But at that point, those were the colors, and I guess Mitchell and Ness kind of got in a little bit of hot water for using it without the. Uh, I guess they didn't exactly have the wizards' permission to make it. Of course, they had Michael Jordan's permission. I mean. You know, all the Jordan, Jordan jerseys they pump out, you know, they have his rights. They also have permission for Nike to do them. But uh, I guess the Wizards weren't playing ball. But uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, Jordan uh, single stitched onto the back, arced onto the back. No name plate, as you can see. And the 23 is uh, single stitched as well onto the back. There you got another shot. And, of course, the logo there is single stitched right on to the, uh, to the jersey. And get a good look at that yet again. Sorry, Wizards. Oops. <laughs> but I, I hope that they do get it straightened out and they can put this thing out for real, for real. And, you know, more people can acquire this jersey. I know there were some lucky ones who jumped on it right away once it hit NBA shop. I didn't. I figured I would have time. And, of course, you know, usually the case. When you think you do, you don't. But, um... Anyhow, I was able to fortunately get one off eBay, and there it is. So, there you go.